Freddie Roach believes that AJ has been on the decline since Vladimir Klitschko. Blessed love and blessed day, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fighting nation. It's Coach Fire and this is real life boxing, man. Freddie Roach thinks Anthony Joshua has been on the decline since the Vladimir Klitschko fight. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded and you can be notified when we are going live. Now, we got different scenery today, but it's the same old Coach Fire and real life boxing, baby. Let's talk about it. Freddie Roach says Joshua's been going downhill ever since Vladimir Klitschko. Let's talk about it. Freddie Roach believes muscle mass has been adversely affecting him in, in, in his recent outings. Freddie Roach believes Joshua's muscle mass has been adversely affecting him in recent outings. Um, Roach, on having trained Andy Ruiz in the past and what he made of his upset win over Anthony Joshua. Let's talk about it. This is what Freddie Roach had to say. I bet on Ruiz, and I like Joshua, and I'm friendly with Joshua. He's a nice guy and all that, but I think they picked the wrong guy. Every fighter in the world who trains and fights like these guys, you know why they all train. Because you never know when you're going to get that call. You never know. And he got the call in the, at the right time and was in the gym ready to go. If he was out fucking around and wasn't ready, he would have he would have had to say no to that fight. But he was in the gym, he said yes, and he was ready to go for it. And now we have a new Mexican world champion. On what happens in the Ruiz Joshua rematch, according to Freddie Roach. Same thing, because if Joshua doesn't completely change his ways, ever since he fought Klitschko, he's been going downhill a little bit. A lot more muscle, he looks really good and so forth. I think he has trouble carrying that muscle and he's been fatigued in his last couple fights. He's been getting tired before the end. And I don't know, I don't think that muscles make fighters. Like, oh, he has big biceps so he must punch hard. Give me a break. I like to say he needs a new team and so forth. And I like to be part of that team because I do like him. He's a friend, yes. But I'm not trying to steal a fighter, he laughs. But the thing is, I think he needs to go back to what he did when he won the Olympics. Because that's when he was a really, really, really good fighter, in my opinion. On if he thinks it matters where the fight takes place. 90,000 people, 90,000 in the UK who won't want to, who wouldn't want to fight in front of those people. I mean, same result. I don't care where you fight. So, according to Freddie Roach, um... Freddie Roach says that AJ and them picked the wrong guy. Said um, Andy Ruiz just happened to be in the gym, happened to be ready, to, um, happened to be ready to go, and um, you gotta watch out for fighters like that. And and, and obviously, um, Freddie Roach um, trained Andy Ruiz in the past, but um, you know, not only did he say that, he said that he thinks the muscle mass is affecting Anthony Joshua, which. I definitely agree with Freddie Roach on that. Um, yeah, the muscles. He, I, I said this in my um, in my prior videos about Anthony Joshua. He doesn't really seem to be able to handle um, all of that all of that muscle well. I mean, um, yeah, he looks good. He looks in great physical shape, but um, having stamina and having wind and having endurance is the ultimate feet and being in good shape you can have all these muscles um huge muscles huge um ripped six pack to shreds ripped thighs um and it doesn't matter if you don't have the endurance the wind the stamina to be able to carry um these muscles over a period of time so i definitely have to agree um with freddie roach on that and i also agree with freddie roach on Anthony Joshua's been on the decline. We haven't really seen Anthony Joshua um, getting better. He's kind of just, um, you know, leveled out. And some of his performances have actually been worse than others. And obviously, you know, every night is not a good night. You know what I mean? You're going to have some bad nights in the office. But, you know, top of the world, heavyweight champion, unified. He's still young. You know, you're supposed to be on the incline, not the decline. So, um, quick video on...
Freddy Roach's thoughts. You guys tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Has Anthony Joshua been on the decline since the Vladimir Klitschko fight? Um, it's Friday. I want everybody to have a blessed day. Have a great day. And y'all know what we say at Real Life Boxing, man. Protect yourself at all times, man. Peace and one love. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.